Finally, let me summarize this lecture. We have learned the basic concepts of reinforcement learning. The agent is what performs the actions. In the game, Mario is the agent. The agent can interact with the environment. In the game, the environment is the program of the game. State S. You can think of the state as what is shown on the screen. Action can be moving left, right, or up. Rewards are given by the environment. By collecting a coin, the agent will receive a small positive reward. By touching the enemy or jumping off the cliff, the agent will receive a big negative reward. Policy function pi takes state s as input and outputs a probability distribution over all the possible actions. We can randomly sample an action accordingly. After the agent executes the action, the environment will use the state transition function p to compute the new state. We have also learned the less intuitive concepts, return and value. Return ut is the sum or weighted sum of all the future rewards. We wish to maximize the return ut. ut is a random variable. So at time t, ut is unknown. We don't know ut until the end of the game. To have an estimate of ut at time t, we can take the expectation of ut to eliminate the randomness. Let the action value function qpi be the expectation of ut. All the future states and actions except st and at are integrated out. qpi depends on the policy pi, the current state st, and action at. The state value function vpi eliminates the action a by taking the expectation of qpi with respect to a. vpi evaluates how good the current state is. The goal of reinforcement learning is knowing how to control the agent to collect as many rewards as possible. This is the procedure. At time t, we observe state st. Based on st, the policy function pi makes a decision at. The agent executes at. Then the environment updates the state to st plus 1 according to the state transition function p. The environment also provides us with a reward rt. At time t plus 1, we observe st plus 1 and rt. We can continue this process to the end of the game. What is reinforcement learning? It means learning a policy from the agent-environment interactions. We collect trajectories of the agent and use the trajectories for learning the policy. Thank you for watching this video. This lecture is about the very basics of reinforcement learning. You have learned many concepts. You must remember the concepts after understanding them. This is what you have to do before you can actually study reinforcement learning methods.